Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So this week, we're going to be going over your asana standing poses. So let's go ahead and get started. And then after this recording, you can go ahead and practice on your own. So there's five that I'm just going to review. There's definitely a lot more, but for this class purposes, we're just going to be focusing on five asana poses, standing asana poses. The first one is your low lunge, your anga asana. The second one is your crescent lunge. It's all, um, which is all, which is also known as your Aji Asana variation. You have your triangle, which is your Utita Trikosana, your pyramid, which is your um, Prasko Tasana, and then your chair, which is your Utkatasana pose. So going over each one before you get started, your low lunge, this one is a, um, a great one because it really focuses on the front of the hips, back of the thigh. Um, it's a great hip opener for those that have um, difficulties with that. It benefits um, for those that also are trying to stretch after sports or activities like running and can help boost energy and fight fatigue. So you have one leg forward, the uh, leg behind, the knee is resting down. So this is the difference between our low lunge and our crescent, which we'll learn in a second here. So make sure that knee is rested. You can have two variations. You can have the knee, those toes tucked, that way you're pressing through the ball of the feet, or you can have them untucked and where you're just pressing on the uh, top parts of your foot. So based off of comfort there, core is engaged, arms are reaching high and chest is forward in a little back bend. With the crescent, the difference here, as you notice, is that now you're on the ball of that back foot, the leg is lifted, locking out. So more of that lunge, more of a deeper, um, low, uh, like wider lunge. Um, still having that 90 degree bend. So making sure that knee is directly on top of your ankle, gaze is still forward, chest is still lifted, arms are still reaching up. Um, this is a great pose because it helps balance, it helps increase balance and stability. It can help increase your energy and help reduce fatigue. Triangle, so with triangle, it helps open up the chest and shoulders. Um, it can also stimulate internal organs so that it can improve digestion. So make sure that when you get into triangle, your one foot's facing forward, but the back foot is at a 45 degree angle. So that's the difference there. You don't want both feet facing forward. So quarter turn with that back leg. Um, one arm is down while the other arm is up, but they're still creating like that symmetry of a straight line. And your gaze is up, looking up at the arm that's facing, that's up. Um, and you wanna make sure that you're, if you can't make it all the way down there, that you can um, that you can place some of that tension on that front leg. Pyramid, so this is a, a pretty advanced. So um, in the videos that you'll be watching, it can help you with some variation and the, do the one that fits best for you. Um, this pose um, is a full body coordination pose. It helps with balance. It's therapeutic for, uh, for people that have flat feet. It can stimulate abdominal organs, which can help improve digestion. Um, but, and it also looks simple, but it is complex. So very similar to the triangle earlier where you had your feet spread apart in that triangular pose, but this one, I mean, you still have that 45 degree angle, but now you're bending at the waist, bringing your upper body down. Um, the goal is to bring that kind of forehead to knee position as, and then having your arms raised behind you and up. Last one is chair for today. So with chair, you want to make sure those knees, ankles are squeezing and tight together. You're sitting in that imaginary chair while squeezing your glutes um, and lengthening your tailbone to tuck the, the pelvis down. Arms can reach up or in that prayer position. Chest is lifted, gazing forward and drawing the shoulder blades down and back. This is a great pose because it opens and stretches the chest and shoulders. Um, and the goal here is to keep that uh, focus by facing forward. All right, so go ahead into the modules, practice those poses today. Next week, we'll go over the warrior asanas and the sequence on that. Make sure to complete the quiz by Friday at 11.59. 
um, in our modules as well and reach out to me if anybody has any questions. Have a great week and see you next time.